Hey everybody, this is Kevin Grady with the Gospel According to Music. You know, I've reviewed this Bible for you guys already. It's the Open Bible in the New King James. This is the newest update with the um, genuine cowhide. But uh, I have, I'm kind of partial to the older vintage Open Bible, which um, I have a copy, but it actually is falling apart over the years. I've been using it forever. I found a hardback copy of it uh, from about 1985-86, and I sent it to a friend of mine to rebind it. And he did a beautiful job, and I can't wait to show it to you. So I'm moving this one over, and I'm bringing in this baby. Let me zoom in on this. Do you see the grain of this leather? It is absolutely amazing. It was funny, I was showing it off at church and um, some people said it just, it, it, it's, uh, they said it's amazing, the grain in this. And I said, yeah. I said, you know what it reminds me of? And they said, no. I said, dragon scales. <laughs> and they went, oh my gosh, yes. And uh, one guy said, no, it reminds me of buffalo. And then another one said, no, it looks like bull hide. And I went, well, you're all wrong. It's not dragon. <laughs> it's not bull hide. It is actually goat skin. And let me show you the spine here. The Open Bible, New King James, and the artwork. This is done by Moy Garcia Rebinds. Now, Moy, uh, he... He basically, we did a kind of a, a situation where we worked out a, a thing for the two of us to, to be blessed. I was able to bless him with something and he in turn was able to bless me. And I, I bought the materials and um, paid for the shipping. But let me show you this exquisite, in my opinion, it's artwork. What he did is he got this, and I'm probably not going to say this, correctly, but it's Italian brown uh, merinos, merinos goat skin, M-E-R-I, yeah, M-E-R-I-N-O-S, merinos goat skin. It is unbelievable. The feel of this is, I, I just can't get over it. I can't stop <laughs> touching it. It just feels so wonderful. Uh, as you see here, he did some uh, hubs down the spine, gave it a great look. I'm, I've always been a fan of brown, and he did a great job on this. Added the art work here on this, the, uh, the printing here. Now, let me show you the inside. The inside is beautiful, smooth. Uh, this is tan cowhide liner. Um, I could have had him sewn it, you know, to where he would uh, uh, stitch this all the way around, and I didn't do that. Probably would have wished I had, but um, I was trying to keep the cost down. But it is glued, and this feels so smooth. It is just great. Almost everybody who has held it immediately sniffs it. And yes, it smells great. Now, what he did here, now this I was, I'm not really familiar with this. This is something called the Black Japanese Cloth Style In Sheets. And inside it's kind of like a paper backing here. But this is just like a cloth material. Almost kind of like maybe, um, you hear my fingers on it? It's kind of like rough, like a pair of jeans, but it's not as thick. And as you can see, they glued down the end sheets there. And then of course, as you can see, here it is, the classic expanded edition. 
this was actually done if I in 1988 it looks like 1988 seventh printing now the difference between the one that I have which is a genuine leather 1985 version and this version is the paper uh, is a lot more absorbent um, it's it, the other one the original that I've got kind of the paper's a little glossy so when you write on it and stuff it doesn't bleed through but this does and he told me when he was doing the edge um, coloring he rounded this out by the way it was squared um, he said the paper absorbed it a little bit more than he thought it would and he's right it it is a little bit more um, when you mark in it you can't use the micron pens it will not work even the 005 versions the point zero zero five will not work on this it will bleed right through to the next side um, matter of fact I've got to go all the way over here and I'll show you what I'm talking about after I get through the encyclopedia part get all the way over here and as I'm gonna zoom in here and you see where it says godly that's actually from marking on this side I highlighted or I underlined God in purple and it came right through to the other side so I'm not able to do this with the pens, and so I'm going to have to do what I use the um, Crayola twistable crayons and pencils. And as you can see, I kind of highlighted that in purple. I'll come over here to another page where you can see where I've done highlighting. There's yellow. I do it kind of light. I don't want to do it really heavy. There is the purple for prophetic about Jesus that's another one of my favorites is the star the prophecy star that means it's to be fulfilled when you're in the New Testament it's blacked in it's being fulfilled but as you can see uh, this is very very good he um, reinforced the spine and rounded it and as you can see he's given me four ribbons and these ribbons are uh, Burks Ford's 10 millimeter ribbons and a white headband and I'm gonna open this up so you can see the ribbons as you can see it's a very very nice ribbon very satiny feeling on both sides and we'll get over here to the other he did it in black and brown and kind of copper and gold there's your brown there's your copper and then the gold whoops come on pages work with me there we go there's the gold beautiful ribbons he also, when he, um, he kind of burned them on the edges to where they're not going to, you know, fray. And as you can see, oh, here's my note paper. I normally don't stick paper inside there. But anyway, here's the back of this. And down here, he's got his Moy Garcia, a little logo. And then, of course, this beautiful, beautiful back. If you want somebody who does excellent work, it's a little on the expensive side because he's in Ireland. I always thought that's kind of weird. Here's a guy who is a Messianic Jew who lives, well, who is actually from Spain, who lives in Ireland. And uh, uh, it's it's. He does, for one, he's a great brother in the Lord. I've enjoyed talking with him. We've talked about all kinds of things, and I told him I was going to do a review on this. And this is, this, is, this is my main Bible. This is what I'm using here at the radio station. So, one, it came out wonderful, um, better than I ever expected. As you can see, this leather is absolutely awesome. The 
craftsmanship is unbelievable and you just cannot beat the quality of this. So Moy, thank you so much, brother. You did an awesome job and beyond my expectations, you have given me something that will last me for a lifetime and be able to pass down to my kids. So thank you so much and God bless you. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, be sure to subscribe and also click the little bell and you'll be updated on every time I post something, which I've got a bunch of new reviews coming up soon. I've got the Net Bible coming out. I also have the NIV um, in the brand new Life application. And I've got the copy that was sent to me by Tyndale, but also got one by Zondervan. And they're a little bit different, and we'll talk about that. There's a couple of other different Bibles I plan on sharing with you, so keep it right here on the Gospel According to Music. Uh, Facebook channel, no, sorry, YouTube channel, <laughs> and do me a favor, check out the radio station if you haven't. It's at gamradio.com. Thanks again, and God bless.